Selfish Productions, and this is my video game setup. This is our couch, which we normally use for sitting, but this couch also houses our controllers. In this drawer we have our PS1 controllers, our PS2, and our Sega controllers, along with some of our Xbox controllers. And then, in the opposite drawer, we have all of our Nintendo brand controllers. Everything from Wii to the NES. Moving away from the couch, we have our Guitar Hero controllers that we conveniently hang on the wall, along with the guns that we used in the Pressure Golf video. And then, we have the treasure. We have all the games that we have down here, for the most part. We have some games uh, upstairs that are used for the PS3 and the Wii U. Those are stored upstairs along with with the uh, systems. We have our NES on top and our SNES along with Nintendo 64. We also have some Genesis with the NES. GameCube, PS1, PS2, and some miscellaneous Xbox games down there. We don't have many Xbox games, but the ones we do, we store it on there. Behind it, we have our posters. Up here, we have some of our gaming boxes. We have the Wii and the Retro Duo along with the Xbox 360. We have some retired SNES controller, which I broke in a uh, in a long gaming night. It was a it was a long night. We have some splitters, the Game Boy Advance Lite, which was a, an innovation for the time. Oh, uh, we have some other miscellaneous, some wireless controller boxes. We have some little Mario statues, I like those. Down here. Which every game room should have. You should have a mini fridge, complete with a full line of drinks. Dollfish logo on there. We have our mission paintball, which is hanging on the wall. The sound doesn't work on it. Got to fix that. We have some Genesis cases up here, with along with a Super Nintendo case, a Game Game Boy Advance. Some instruction booklets, just miscellaneous stuff that we got from the Gears of War pack. Uh, more instruction booklets, Super Mario 64, which doesn't work. Uh, miscellaneous stuff that we thought was interesting to hang on our I-Beam. We have some Coke products, some Coke glasses, and a Coke piggy bank that we won at Brunswick Zone. Our keyboard, which was smashed from a very, very old laptop that can be featured in our upcoming smashing video. Game Boy SP, we have our whole Game Boy collection up here, along with the Game Boy Advanced case, which I very, which I very, very much like. Uh, some Rock'em Sock'em Robot action figures, some Jackhammer um, lunch boxes, which is a local baseball team. Uh, we have Tack and some, uh, some Hot Wheels racing cars. Sonic and Tails action figurines, which... Talk. Who did it? The Super Scope, supplied by Will, doesn't work. The PlayStation 2 online startup disc, which allowed you to play online with many games like Hotshot Golf and most, most of the NBA games. Never worked. Lots of things don't work around here. We have our Sweet Tarts pillow. Uh, along with TV, we have our Sirius radio um, display. Allows us to listen to some raunchy, you know, stations. We have our disco ball, which we tried to mount to the ceiling. That didn't work. Super scope sensor and some glass bottle, which I very much and very much an old time. I like I like novelty novelty things like the bottles. We have our Wii sensor. We've got about 12 systems hooked up down here, so it takes a lot to get them all to play on one TV. So, we've invested in two Radio Shack 5-way splitters. All the systems run into them, and then they are automatically controlled by the sensors themselves. So as soon as we turn on the system, this will turn to either the Xbox, or the Xbox 360, or the NES. And in order to do that, we had to plug some of the cables into this one. So, in other words... One of the outputs on here is going into an input on here. 
It's the only way we can do it. All this is then run into this splitter down here, which allows us to record. We use uh, Elgato, which is a Mac product, which allows you to record, but it doesn't record in HD, so I need to get a new one. These are then sent to the stereo, which is up here, which gets sent to the TV and then to the speakers. Below we have our laser disc, which is very old. Okay, now for the main event. We have our game systems. First up is our Slim PS2, which, you know, Slim PS2. We have our Nintendo 64 down here, along with the black Wii. Over here is the retro area with the NES and the NES Advantage, which is on top of it. We have our Super Nintendo with the Game Genie. Up top, we got the Sega Dreamcast, and we have the Sega Genesis. In the next bay, on the bottom, we have our Xbox and our Xbox 360. The GameCube, and then the PS1. Up top, we have our retired fat PS2, and on top of that, we have our Retro Duo. Behind that, we have a box full of cables that just goes to all our game systems that we just don't need anymore because we have so many extras. Behind that is a total mess, and I really don't think you want to see how I hooked up all my systems. So, so that was my video game setup. If you want to send me a video response showing me yours, that would be great. If you want to send me any ideas, that would be even better. Until then, I'm Mike, Malfish Productions. Thanks for watching.